Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will create our REST API project using the SLIM framework. If you don't know what is SLIM, then don't worry, it is just a micro PHP framework that we can use for creating REST APIs. And a framework makes the life easier by having many predefined functions that we need to create the REST API. If you want more information, then obviously you can Google it. And yes, it is not at all necessary that you have to use SLIM only for building REST APIs. There are number of options available. You can also choose not to use any framework or you can choose any other language instead of PHP. Enough talking, right? So to create a project with SLIM, we need Composer. Now the question arises what is Composer? So click on this link and Composer is a dependency manager for PHP and trust me at this time you do not need to worry a lot about Composer. Just download it from here and install it. Don't worry about these commands. Just download this composer-setup.exe and install it in your system and make sure that XAMPP is already installed in your computer before downloading Composer. So the first thing we need is XAMPP, then we will download the setup of Composer and then we will install it. So first install XAMPP and then install Composer. And I have already done all these things so I do not need to do the installation again. To confirm that Composer is already installed, you can open command prompt and run the command composer hyphen hyphen version. If you are seeing something like this, that means composer is already installed. Then you can move ahead, okay. Once you have everything installed, you can create the API project. And for this, you need to come inside the root directory of the server. And in case of XAMPP, the root directory is C XAMPP and htdocs so we have to open command prompt in this directory okay so you can open cmd and navigate to this directory and a shortcut method is click here and type cmd and hit enter and yes the command prompt is opened inside this directory okay now to create a project let me increase the font size of command prompt so to create a project, write the command composer, then create hyphen project, then slim slash slim hyphen skeleton. Okay, then your project name, which is my API, you can change the project name to whatever you want. Okay, write this command and hit enter. Now wait and the project will be created in a few minutes depending on your internet speed. So the project is created guys and here you can see the project. And it contains a lot of folders and a lot of files but don't worry about these files. Okay, right now our point of interest is this index.php only. Okay, and for the IDE or source code editor, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So open Visual Studio Code and drag your project folder here. Okay, so this way you can easily open your project. So we have to worry about this index.php only for now. Okay. So this index.php file will contain all our API calls. So first thing that you need to do is just delete everything that is available here. Okay, so delete. Now come here and copy this thing. Copy and paste it here. Now one more thing we need to worry about this vendor slash autoload.php Right now we are inside public index.php and vendor is outside this folder it is inside my API. So what we need to do we need to put double dots and slash. 
that's it so we are getting server request interface as request and response interface as response then we are getting this autolog.php file then we are creating a new slim app then this is a get request and the url for the get request is hello and here we are passing a parameter named name so the url would be this folder directory from the local host then slash hello this folder directory means public okay so my api slash public slash hello and then we can pass any name this is a parameter and for the second parameter we are passing a function and the function is taking a request object and a response object and the arguments that we can pass by using these parameters then we are getting the passed parameter from this argument array and then we are writing the name in the response body and finally we are returning the response and one more thing that is very important we need to run the app using app run method so this is what is happening here now to execute this call just go to localhost make sure your apache server and mysql is running and in fact for now we don't need mysql we just need apache server okay so here we will write localhost slash the project name my api slash public slash hello and then the parameter that we need to pass so we can pass we are learning php okay you can see we are getting we are learning php or you can pass your name so our api project is working fine so that is all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you everyone we'll see you in the next video bye bye